It's time to make a homemade apple pie. process of making a homemade apple pie. In my apartment complex where I live, I we have a couple of apple trees in our apartment that grows apples and now we're in August and the apples are ready to pick. So to save a lot of time, I've gone out and peeled eight to ten apples. I've cut them up, I've peeled them, I've taken all the seeds and cores out, they're ready to go. So before we put the apples in the pie crust, and by the way, this is store-bought pie crust. I know you can make your own, but I don't have the equipment to make it. This is a lot easier, especially after you top all these apples like this. To get started, we're melting a stick of butter, which is half a cup, and three tablespoons of flour. We're going to melt this together. And it's going to take a minute to melt. And once all that's melted, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to the saucepan. After the butter and flour are melted together and combined, we're going to add a few more ingredients. I'm going to stir it and it's ready. So, I got one fourth a cup of white sugar, a one fourth a cup of brown sugar, and one fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to pour all that in, along with one fourth a cup of water. We're going to stir this. It's already starting to boil, so this is not going to take long. Once everything's stirred together and it's starting to boil, remove from the heat. And then we're going to add the apples and the toppings. I brought the mixture up to a boil, then turn it down to simmer and stir till it gets thick. And it's pretty thick now, so it is ready. So I went on and put the apple, cut apples, on in the pie crust. What we're going to do is we're going to pour the sauce right over the pie apples. Try to coat most of it. Some's probably going to spill over the side, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Looks good. I'm gonna turn the stove off. So most of the sauce is in the apples. I'm gonna unroll this top layer of pie crust. By the way, it's the store-bought kind. I know some of you are gonna complain that it's store-bought. You'd rather make it yourself, but this is my recipe. I'm cheap. <laughs> I don't have the equipment to make the pie dough from scratch. I would like to, but I gotta have the equipment to do that. Before you Put this pie crust over, you need to smooth out any of the cracks that happened in the dough, which is going to happen. I let it sit out in the fridge for a few minutes. Alright, that's good enough. We're gonna pour it, put the pie crust right over. Like so. I'm going to kinker the crust over the side. Try to, try to push the pie dough into the other pie dough crust below, so it makes it good. I mean, you're going to have some dough kind of overlap, but it's not too bad. You're not looking for perfection here. Just make sure it's good. And you see a few holes trying to pop up? That's good, because we're going to need those holes anyways to vent. The pie crust at the end anyway so if you have a little bit overlapping just, just take it off on the bottom okay we're going to kind of fix some of the holes they don't have to be perfect i don't expect any pie to be perfect <laughs> as long as it tastes good that's i think that's the only thing people care about so i think we've got it good enough so I'll try to sear it. I'm gonna take out a knife. I'm gonna put a few little silts in the center so there's some steam that can like that. That's good. And voila! One more thing, we're gonna get a little cinnamon. I put a little cinnamon on top of the pie just to for decoration purposes, I mean pouring a little bit too much probably on here, but I can spread it out. That's good. That's perfect. All right. 
So the pie is ready to go in the oven. This pie is going to go in a 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. Then you're going to reduce the temperature to 350 and bake for 35 to 45 minutes. So in the oven, it goes. I'm going to set it for 15 minutes. And there you go. It's going to be a while until you get to see the finished product. I've taken this apple pie out of the oven about an hour ago and you can see how good it is. <laughs> Um, it's still going to have to cool for a few hours. It's still very warm to touch. So I'm not going to cut this right now, but uh, you imagine you cut it out. You see a good kind of apples. I would put a good type of whipped cream on top. Get a glass of milk and you will have a good dessert. Good ending to a meal and you won't want to make this. I've done this before and it tastes very, very, very good. So thank you for watching my latest cooking video. If you liked what you see, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe below for more great videos from me. Y'all have a great geeking day and geek out everybody.